trouble in turn two. Red flag on the speedway. We will stop this one. Number 70 with the fuel he has. Oh, trouble already. Out of turn four. Big rig. That's big, Chad Hockenbraw in the 58. A lot of damage to that race car. That car, I think, I think it rolled over. Oh, he just gets sideways back there, and man, there she goes. Yeah. It is upside down. Actually hit the roof. It looked like on the wall. Yeah, slammed it roof first into the wall. It looks as though the red flag will come out now, as they'll have to clean up the incident out of turn four and right to the entrance of pit road. And we're hearing from the ARCA officials. They're going to bring the field onto pit road. We're going to be, be about five laps short of halfway. They're letting the drivers know they need to stay in the cars. Yeah, you get out in this fog, you might not be able to find your car, so you better stay close by. <laughs> Brennan Poole, the, the pole winner, is fourth. <laughs> That's your fault, by the way. And Frank Kimmel is in the fifth spot. I had him in the pool, by the way. <laughs> Brennan Poole in the pool, who won the pole. Still under a red flag condition because of fog. You can barely see the spotters up on the grandstand from Pitt Road, and that is the reason why we have brought the cars onto Pitt Road. And the ARCA Racing Series officials have just called this race with 21 laps to go. It's official. Tim George Jr. will get his first career win in the ARCA Racing Series. Green flag back oh, in the air. Problems on Tim George into the wall. Chad Hockenbrock got in the back of him. Joey Coulter also with damage. Jared Marks has some damage to that number eight car. He ran into Tim George, hit him extremely hard. See Joey Coulter, a lot of damage to that car running up in the top ten. Tim George had a great car running up in the top five. Looks like he got turned by Chad Hockenbrock. We'll have to take another look at the replay, but Tim George Jr. right into the outside wall, and they're going to red flag this one. Get the safety crews out to these vehicles stopped on the front stretch. It's amazing how much damage you can have there. They're not even out of second gear yet. And you can see all the damage. You can there's Jared Mark's car, Joey Coulter's car behind him. We saw the damage to the 31 of Tim George Jr. Unfortunate restart. Let's take another look. See Tim George lines up third. Chad Hawking about right behind him. He gets into him coming off of turn number four. Tim tries to save it, but when he did, the front end was pointed towards the outside wall, and Chad got into him again and turned him into the outside wall. Phil, early on, it looked as though Tim George Jr. may have slid the tires, and that allowed that 58 to get right up on him. You could see the gap between Tim George and the second-place car of Ty Dillon. I think you're exactly right. 